Hey, this is Steve Baumgartner. Well, happy 4th of July. Um, lots happened already this morning. I got up, checked my uh, finances as I do every once in a while, and I see a big fraud alert showing that um, I bought hair products of over $1,000 in Massachusetts. Do I look like I need hair products? No. <clears throat> so it seems like uh, this occurred like about a day. No, actually, this happened today on July 4th. Wells Fargo caught the uh, erroneous charge and uh, declined it. Sent me a note immediately. I got the note, called them up. And while I'm on the phone talking to the fraud people, another charge comes in for six dollars in um, Louisiana so obviously that card is compromised canceled and a new one's gonna be sent out but here's the thing I've only used it in one location and that was the new Chipotle uh, Chipotle in Farmers Branch it's the only place that that was used and then a day later or two days later Two charges are getting made and nothing happened before then so watch out at the Chipotle in Farmers Branch pay cash if you go there and count it when you're done here's the fraud <clears throat> fraud is a broad term that refers to acts intended to swindle someone fraud always includes a false statement misrepresentation or deceitful conduct the purpose is to gain something of value usually money by misleading or deceiving someone into believing something that the perpetrator knows to be false. So that's the definition of fraud. So this is happening everywhere. And I would think uh, in these times of uh, people getting laid off that uh, they're going to get kind of uh, desperate and they're going to start doing stuff like this. Um, another example was at Home Depot about, uh, three weeks ago I'm in line with a bunch of other people I'm buying my little couple items and here comes this lady and this man uh, he was probably like a 6-2 um, clean cut looked like he's a businessman and a woman same way they come in with uh, two carts and I go well why do they come into the, the um, garden section to check out all these uh, uh, Makiti, uh, what do you call it, uh, Milwaukee saws and all this kind of stuff, just packed full of all this equipment. And she does one of these. Oh, and they're wiggling their way through the, the line. Oh, there's our car. God, we couldn't see it from the other exit. I thought, well, that was kind of weird. Who does that? And then at the door, they are checking. Hey, ma'am, can I see your receipt? Oh, she's got it. Hey, uh, Wilma, whatever your name is. And then, poof, they're rocking it out of there with their uh, big carts full of all this equipment. They probably had over three grand of uh, equipment. And by the time the gal at the checkout stand shut her register and ran out there, they were already zipping, but she did get a copy of their license plate. What that does, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how far... Home Depot is willing to pursue something along that line. But uh, I hope they get busted and put into jail. Because that's not right. It's making everybody's prices go up. It's just wrong. You just don't steal. That's just not the thing you're supposed to do. Um, so anyway, so that was two experiences. One I saw, one I experienced. So I'm just saying, hey, people, be careful. And if you're out there stealing, I hope your ass gets caught. And that's a fact. Um, I've learned through my time of dealing with people. If you have the opportunity to prosecute somebody, do it. Because letting them off is doing them an injustice. They need to learn how to participate properly in society. And stealing is not part of that. Amongst burning stuff down, breaking property that's not yours, just because you're pissed off about something doesn't give you the right to destroy. Anyway, that's my rant. <clears throat> That's today, July 4th. Uh, happy Independence Day.